guys, welcome to another episode of It's Your Kitchen. Today actually, but oh, before I forget, I'd like to thank all of my followers, starting from Aruba, Bonaire, St. Martin, Curacao, Guyana, Suriname, Rhode Island, Florida, Memphis, um, Tennessee, Ohio, Oregon, Connecticut, uh, Arkansas, um, California. Um, I got a message uh, privately from Delaware. Thanks, Delaware. Um, the Netherlands, England. Uh, I know I'm missing one. I know I'm missing one. I said Ohio. But guys, if I forget, please, you are right here. And I'm thinking of you. And we're all in the kitchen together. All right? Well, today, guys, I'm going to do something very simple. I actually thought, oh, it was a great um, recipe that maybe, oh, I invented. Guess what? I saw it on YouTube. Missed that one. But you know what? No matter what, I'm going to still share it with you. All right? And um, it's two dishes. I'm going to be making something very simple. All right? The first one, it's called Sweet Mac, which is basically sweet macaroni salad. Um, the other um, dish, I'm going to do not barbecue, guys, not barbecue, baked ribs. All right? Um, and if I miss some of the ingredients, you know, guys, I never leave you um, hanging. I always will um, post it on to um, to this video, with this video. <laughs> okay? Also, oh, dog is outside. Need, she already got her walk, but she wants more. <laughs> um, oh, don't forget, guys, please hit the subscribe but, um, bell. Uh, the notification bell and the subscribe button so every time I come up with a new um, show you'll be notified all right guys so don't go anywhere stay right there and we'll head over and I'll show you what all goes into sweet Mac all right so stay tuned <laughs> welcome back guys all right these are um, the rest um, the ingredients that I will be using for my sweet Mac again I thought I invented a, a recipe, but unfortunately I didn't. I saw it online. <laughs> I saw it on YouTube. So as I said um, previously, I don't care. I'm going to still share it with all of my people. All right, uh, guys. Um, first, first of all, the main dish is, of course, the macaroni. This is about um, 16 ounces of the packet of elbow um, macaroni. Um, they said, you know, always um, salt your water um, very well. It should be like almost like the seawater. That is up to you, my friends. Because keep in mind, that's, that's the only time when the macaroni will actually get to infuse and get um, seasoning in them. All right. Um, I let this on um, the stovetop boiling for about maybe eight minutes. You don't want to get it too soft because keep in mind, it's a salad. All right. Again, sixty about sixteen ounce package of elbow macaroni. All right. Rarely, guys, it is true. What I have here is about uh, almost a fourteen um, ounce of um, sweetened condensed milk. Yes, guys, sweetened condensed milk. All right. That's why it's called sweet mac. All right. And in this dish right here. I have one medium sized shredded um, carrot and on the opposite side I have two stalks of celery chopped. Alright, place you there and in this bowl right here what I have is about almost I would say about a half a little bit over a half a cup of cubed um, Gouda cheese. Now you can use whatever cheese that you have on hand if you like to use pepper jack, um, sharp cheddar, whatever cheese you want, go ahead and use it, guys. All right? Because always remember, it is your kitchen. And of course, um, some mayo. Place this here on this side. And of course, a salt and pepper to taste. Now, the salt, I would use about a teaspoon of salt and um, a quarter teaspoon of um, cracked black pepper all right so guys stay tuned uh, and then we're gonna get everything all mixed up and delicious all right guys so don't go anywhere come back guys here we go what I'm gonna add in first 
I'm going to add in for the mayo about a cup and a half of um of mayo. All right. Come on, come on. Okay. So about a cup and a half of mayo in there. Got to get that nice, oh, delicious taste. All right. There we go. Next, I'm going to add in the shredded carrot, which again is one medium sized carrot that I shredded. You can purchase the one that's pre shredded in the supermarket, but guys, that tends to have some type of um, chemical on it, and I don't know what it is. But if you do take the fresh carrot and you shred it, it releases natural sugar because carrot it has that nice after sweet taste. So if you do it, um, from scratch by shredding it, trust me, it will benefit you. All right, and um, the chopped celery. Again, this is about, I would say, um, one to two stalks of celery. All right, and I will just pour this right in here. Don't worry guys, as I always tell you, always have your hands clean. All right, and especially in times like this, you better have your hands clean. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to pour in, yes guys, the sweetened condensed milk. This is about a 14 ounce of sweetened condensed milk. Oh, that richness. All right. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a spoon. Got to get all of this. All right. Got to get all of this goodness in here oh do you guys remember actually buying the small one I think it was from Nestle from uh, from the supermarket can't wait to get home to pop that open and just enjoy that nice sweetness <laughs> all right yeah that's it okay now what I'm gonna add in I'm gonna, again, it's about one teaspoon of salt. You can use whatever salt you have. I have Himalayan pink salt, I have sea salt, and I have table salt. But today, I'm gonna be using the sea salt. Let's place that in there, one teaspoon. And about a quarter teaspoon of um, cracked black pepper. If you don't have the pepper with a grinder and all of that, you can use just use the grounded pepper, come on, you know? right and now what we're gonna just do is just take our time and just marry all of this together if you have um, yellow on, um, not yellow onion sorry <laughs> red onions you can absolutely add that in here also um, I did not have any so I'm not you know make with what I have guys this thing is good trust me it is good I once tried it out with raisins. <laughs> I did it with apple also, but when you're doing it with apple, just remember you will have to actually, um, I don't use lime, all right? So I use about a half of a lime just for the apple not to start to, um, to turn into that. The first time I tried this, I actually did um, place in about maybe, um, I would say, a teaspoon of um, apple cider vinegar. But what happened was, it did not, with apple cider vinegar, it tasted really good. But after a few days in the refrigerator, it was not good. All right. So now what I'm going to add in here is the, the about, I would say it's almost about a little over a half a cup of the cube um, cheese. All right. Place that all in there. All that nice goodness. All right.
And guys, that's it. That is it. You place this in the refrigerator for it to chill and for them to actually, because right now they're engaged. They were first um, talking to each other. Now they're engaged. So when you place it in the refrigerator to chill, that's when they will be uh, officially married. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take my um, spoon that I use um, to help take out the condensed milk just to give it a taste to see if it needs any more salt or any more pepper. All right. Let's take a taste here. Oh my God. Guys, you gotta try this. Trust me. <laughs> All right, and that is it. That is it, guys. Fast, simple. Why make your life more difficult? Life is already difficult out there. All right, so you're having the sweetness of the sweet condensed milk and also um, the natural sugar from, from the carrots. All right, this is great for a barbecue or just... A simple thing you don't want to make a huge lunch a bowl of this and that's in you're done I'm gonna grab another um, spoon just to give another test because I, I will never place that back in the first testing spoon in there All right. okay give it another test here it's done so guys this is going to be uh, refrigerated and after it's finished refrigerating then gonna have fun stay tuned for my second simple dish which is baked ribs all right guys so don't go anywhere now again not barbecue baked ribs <laughs> now I had about um, one and a half slab of ribs in my freezer and I like you know what I took it out yesterday, uh, placed it on the bottom of my refrigerator so it can thaw perfectly. And once it did that, you know sometimes on top of the rib it has that like very thin layer of um, almost like a skin. I took that off. That's what make um, your ribs uh, cook much faster guys. It's almost like a thin film on top of it so I just peel that off. Alright, and what I've used, I'm going to show you. I, sh I think I did, um, I use, of course, my um, salt. I use um, about also a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. Um, also, because it's um, ribs, I use a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Yes, you heard me, nutmeg. <laughs> and also, I use some... Um, uh, one, um, no, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Also, I've used um, two teaspoons of onion powder. And uh, I don't know if you remember from my other episode, from my previous episode, I talked about uh, seasoning. I use this one from this company. It is actually called um, Complete Seasoning. It has basically a little of everything in there. And I use... Uh, two teaspoon of this complete seasoning but guys if you want to just go simple if you feel like you can just do salt and pepper and that's it remember it's your kitchen all right and also I actually place uh, on the top so it can really get to know each other good with all of the seasoning to stick perfectly I use also um, um, one tablespoon of vegetable oil all right, and now what I'm going to do, place on that. Some of people in the Caribbean might, um, might know it and might have it. For those that are my followers from the US or um, England and also the Netherlands, this is called ket ketiap. I hope I said that right. Ketiap manis. 
and this is the sweet one. They have a salt one and a sweet one. This is a um, sweet one. All right, and this is what I'm just gonna drizzle at the top. All right, just gonna drizzle this right on the top, not too much. Each one get a little piece of it. <laughs> All right, that's it. And now, the nice part, your hands. Yes, guys, it's clean. <laughs> and just marinate, I'll show you. And I just rub this right in on both sides. All right. And this I'm gonna be placing in the oven for about maybe, I would say about 45 minutes or so. But I will let you know exactly. I. I have my trusty timer <laughs> and I will let you know exactly how long it took all right okay um, give me one second just gonna wash my hand quickly all right now what I'm just gonna do I'm gonna take some um, tin foil or aluminum foil however you call it <laughs> all right <laughs> and I'm just going to cover this yes so it makes its own um, its own steam and it cooks in there nicely all right so guys this is going to go into the oven um, I would say I will check on it let's say after 45 minutes but maybe it can be less all right but I will definitely let you know all right seal this up perfectly just like that all right if you want if you have even you know what's a good idea if you have apple juice or orange juice you pour let's say maybe um, a quarter of a cup in there as well and let that nice beautiful let all of the flavors get to know each other all right so that's a good thing for you there about again a quarter cup of either apple or orange juice all right so this is going to go in the oven and guys i'll see you in a few minutes all right so don't go anywhere guys almost forgot uh, my oven is set at 375 degrees almost forgot that almost forgot that all right i have it at 375 degrees <laughs> stay tuned guys well, welcome back guys this is the finished product what i um definitely have to say it did take 45 minutes exactly in a 375 degree oven all right not barbecue but baked ribs all right guys <laughs> for guys so far well that is it for this show um, again don't worry I will place all of the um, ingredients that I use for the the sweet mac and also my baked ribs recipe all right so once again, guys, I would like to thank all of my followers, starting from Aruba, St. Martin, Curaçao, Bonaire, uh, Suriname, Guyana, Rhode Island, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee, Arkansas, Ohio, Oregon, Connecticut, um, Delaware, uh, California, the Netherlands, England. Guys, thank you so much for following. Please don't forget hit that notification bell and the subscribe button and every time again that I come up with a new um, video you'll be the first to know guys thank you once again and always remember it's your kitchen all right guys enjoy try it out try the sweet mac out if you haven't seen it online already if you haven't tried it I would say give it a try and see how you like it all right guys stay safe out there and enjoy that kitchen all right stay safe guys